Imagine uncovering a secret chamber within one of the most famous ancient structures in the world, and then imagine that this chamber could potentially be linked to extraterrestrial life. That's exactly what researchers have stumbled upon in the Great Pyramid of Giza. Join us as we dive into the evidence and theories surrounding this fascinating find and explore the possibility of alien tombs being discovered within the Great Pyramid. The Great Pyramid of Giza, also known as the Pyramid of Khufu, is one of the most iconic ancient structures in the world. It is located in Giza, Egypt, and is believed to have been built during the reign of Pharaoh Khufu around 2589 to 2566 BCE. The Great Pyramid is the oldest and largest of the three pyramids in the Giza Pyramid Complex and the only one of the seven wonders of the ancient world that still stands today. The Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt, known as one of the seven wonders of the ancient world and a breathtaking example of architectural brilliance, has a secret chamber that is at least 100 feet long, according to a discovery made by experts. The measurements of this room are comparable to those of the Grand Gallery in the Pyramid, which is a hallway that measures 153 feet in length and 26 feet in height, and leads to the burial chamber of Khufu, the king for whom the pyramid was constructed. Nevertheless, it is not obvious what is included inside the space, what function it fulfilled, or if there is just one space or several spaces. The void is the first substantial interior structure to be identified inside the 4,500-year-old pyramid since the 1800s. The discovery of the void was made possible by recent advancements in high-energy particle physics. The discoveries are the most recent chapter in a millennia-old search to comprehend the Great Pyramid of Giza, which has been regarded as a source of mystery and interest for a very long time. The pyramid was constructed in ancient Egypt's Old Kingdom during the 4th Dynasty, which dates back around 4,500 years. At that time, Egypt was a prosperous, highly centralized monarchy that had amassed a lot of riches from commerce and agriculture that was supported by the Nile. It may be said that the Great Pyramid is the most complete manifestation of such power. During his reign from 2509 to 2483 BC, the pharaoh Khufu constructed a pyramid for himself with a foundation that encompasses more than 13 acres and an initial height that towered 479 feet above the ground. The structure is made up of around 2.3 million blocks of limestone, each of which had to be extracted from the ground, transported, sized, and then brought into position. The Scan Pyramids Project, which is an international mission overseen by Egypt's Ministry of Antiquities, is responsible for the recent discovery that has been made. The project was initiated in October 2015 with the intention of employing a variety of technologies to see into the greatest pyramids in Egypt without causing any damage. Scan Pyramids had already made an announcement on the discovery of a number of fascinating voids and abnormalities which didn't necessarily come as a surprise to anybody. Spence claims that the interiors of the pyramids are far more pitted and strewn with rubble than the general public often imagines. However, the finding of the new hole was unquestionably unexpected, and it is arguable that this new void represents the most significant find ever produced by muon radiography, an imaging method that was first shown at Giza's pyramids. The method which has been used to peek through the walls of cathedrals, Mayan pyramids, and even volcanoes, is predicated on the natural reign of subatomic particles known as moons. The collision of cosmic rays, which are high-energy particles speeding across our galaxy, with Earth's upper atmosphere causes these particles to be constantly ejected into space and rain down on our planet. Moons are subatomic particles that cannot be seen with the human eye but may be detected by scientists using specialized films and detectors that can track their three-dimensional journeys. Because moons are able to travel more readily through empty space than they can through solid materials, scientists are able to map the solid and empty areas of a structure by strategically placing many moon detectors inside and around the structure. In the case of the Great Pyramid, a group of researchers headed by a physicist from Nagoya University 
named Kunihiro Morishima, installed moon detectors within the pyramid beginning in December of 2015. This allowed the researchers to gather data for many months. The first findings from Morishima were published in March 2016, and they revealed, much to the astonishment of the researchers, that an area deep inside the pyramid's interior allowed many more moons to get through than they had been anticipating. These extra moons seemed to follow the outline of a hollow that was 100 feet long and had a cross-section similar to the Grand Gallery. The researchers found a signal for the emptiness that attained at least a five-sigma level of statistical significance. This indicates that there is a probability that any one experiment was a fluke that is less than one in a million. Finding new subatomic particles, like as the Higgs boson, requires the same degree of proof as before. The researchers refer to this area, which seems to be devoid of everything, as the void, and estimate that its length is at least 100 feet. The researchers are hesitating to use the name chamber until they have a better understanding of its function, which is yet unknown. Naturally, there is no shortage of New Age explanations, with the most outlandish claims contending that extraterrestrials must have been responsible for building the pyramid. It is true that it would have been impossible for humans to create the pyramids, and there is extremely little historical evidence as to how they were built. However, this does not mean that they were not built. Because of this gap in our knowledge, as well as the architectural and scientific mysteries surrounding the pyramids, many individuals who are prone to superstition have hypothesized that extraterrestrials visited Earth in prehistoric times and assisted in the development of early civilizations. According to these myths, the ancient Egyptians would not have been able to create great works of art without the assistance of extraterrestrial beings. Some people believe that in order to create the pyramids in the way that they are, one would have needed a bird's eye perspective. This is the type of vision that, for example, one might have from a flying saucer. They also think that in order for the Egyptians to have been able to produce an artifact that complies with the so-called golden ratio, which is a mathematical connection based on the rare number Fe, the Egyptians would have had assistance from outside sources. The interior network of shafts, corridors, and chambers that make up the Great Pyramid is certainly so complicated that it is not hard to see why people felt that some form of god or higher intellect was involved. On the other hand, there is a large body of evidence that not only explains how the ancient Egyptians constructed the pyramids, but also why they did so. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. Let us know in the comments what you would like to see next. We'll see you in our next video.